DJI has done it again, making what was already a fantastic camera even better with the most recent firmware update that was released on January 31st, 2024. And I am so excited. I was so happy when I saw one feature in particular that was driving me nuts and I feel was crippling how great this camera was since it was released. Let me tell you exactly which feature that is. If you haven't already updated the firmware, as I mentioned, the firmware was released on January 31st, 2024. So when I'm recording this video, it was released yesterday and it is super simple. I'm going to show you here on the screen. You want to take your phone, whether it's an iPhone or Android, open up the DJI Mimo app, connect your Osmo Pocket 3 to the Mimo app, and once they're connected, you should see on screen the option for the available firmware update. You're gonna go ahead and download it and install it, and that's it, you're good to go. Now, the one thing I do want to say is that because there are updates for the DJI Mic 2s, DJI recommends that when you are updating the firmware on your Osmo Pocket 3, also turn on your Mic 2s, make sure that they are connected to your Osmo Pocket 3, and they should update at the same time. I'll put on the screen what the firmware update for both the Osmo Pocket 3, as well as what the firmware update number is for the Mic 2s, so that you can make sure that you are upgraded or updated and on the up-to-date, updated on the most up-to-date, you guys know what I'm saying. You're on the most up-to-date firmware as of January 31st, 2024. Now that we've gone in and updated the software, let's talk about the feature that was driving me insane. Driving me absolutely nuts. And it was probably driving you nuts too. And that is when your DJI is in selfie mode, right? So I have it here. Come a little bit closer to the camera. You can see that it is currently... In selfie mode, the camera is facing me. Let's get, there you go, we're in focus. And if we take a look at the joystick and the camera, if I push my thumb to the left, to the left, what that's going to do is I'm gonna push it to the left, look at the camera. The camera's moving in the right, in the opposite direction, which is towards the right hand side. And then if I move the joystick, I'm moving the joystick towards me you can see the camera moving towards the left-hand side. So the functions on selfie mode with the joystick is inverted. And when you're looking at this and you want to frame yourself up, right? So you're looking at yourself, you wanna frame this up and you're like, oh, I wanna show you more of what's on the right-hand side. And so you use the joystick to move this way, but then you can see it's not moving this way, it's moving that way. And then, and then think about it, you're vlogging and you're trying to get this done and you're trying to get something really quick and you want it to go this way, it starts going that. Can you tell that it was driving me crazy? Let me know down below in the comments, was it driving you crazy too? Now I do have my notes here, so bear with me. This is not scripted. I just have bullet points of what this update consists of. The other feature that they released with this update that I'm super excited about, and I know a bunch of you guys will be update, uh, um, excited about, is the recording, cancel recording function. How many times have you recorded a clip you realize you want to start again or you messed up and you want to do a take. I mean, with this particular, I wish I had that option here because I have done so many takes of this video, but I digress. What that cancel recording function does is that you can press and hold the shutter slash record button and it's going to stop the recording as well as cancel it and the footage is going to be deleted. It's not going to take up any space and that is amazing. One thing that I do want to point out is that this record function will not, or cancel record function is not available in time-lapse, motion-lapse, and webcam mode. So it's only when basically you're recording a straight up vlog like this and you can press and hold that cancel button and it will delete it. And you're going to get confirmation on the screen so that you know you really want to delete this because once it's deleted, it's deleted. 
The other option that I briefly spoke about is with the transmitter update, um, the transmitter firmware update. And so basically what they're saying is that they um, have optimized the recording volume, the transmitter recording volume when connected to the Osmo Pocket 3. I've noticed it, but not consistently, but you will hear if you're, you know, have watched a bunch of different videos, you will hear that sometimes the recording the levels of the of the mic recording the mic too is lower and some people have had to boost boost it up in post and so that's what this particular um feature fix is is that they've optimized that what else they've added support for setting an audio channel in the built-in mic backup channel so basically what that means is that with the last firm i believe it was the last firmware update that they released they gave you the ability that if you use the dji mic 2 as your microphone um you can turn on the cameras that are built into the Osmo Pocket 3 so that you can kind of get ambience, background noise, or you can use that as a backup recording just in case something happens with the mic 2 transmitter. However, that was all baked into one file, which really kind of just messed up the whole premise of that. And now what this does is that this separates the audio into a different channel. And so that now when you drag those files over, you'll see a file just for the DJI Mic 2 audio built in, as well as kind of that um, that background, the audio settings. And then you can turn it into stereo, you can use it, you can bring it up, so on and so forth. So that's actually pretty good, depending on the features and how you're going to use it. We already talked about the optimization of the 5D joystick. Thank you, DJI, 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 not DJI, DJI, I appreciate you. That was the best. And then what else? Oh. The other feature that I, so I didn't, I didn't use this too much because I would just take the SD card out and put it directly to my computer or plug it into my uh, little PJY, PGY tech um, external SD card reader. But one thing that has been driving other Osmo Pocket 3 users insane is that if you do connect your Pocket 3 to your computer, to transfer files over and once you're done and you disconnect the pocket three the, and you left it on your desk the pocket three started going crazy the gimbal started moving it just did all these things and now with this update it no longer does that you're going to get a confirmation on the screen once you unplug your USB-C cable telling you that you want to exit and it kind of gives you just that reminder so that you don't leave it on your desk and it's not flopping around like a fish um and then, oh, this is the other thing. So yeah, so it, it was a small, like in terms of size, a small update, but this is another thing that I was excited about is that they have optimized the transmitter performance if you use the Osmo Pocket 3 combined with the Mic 2 during a live stream. Now, I did test this a few months ago when I was in Jamaica. I'm gonna put a clip here, but there was crackling in the background when you use the Osmo Pocket 3 going to YouTube straight through the live stream through the app and you connected the mic too. Let me take a listen to what I mean with the crackling of the audio. The audio. So I noticed that, thank you Roy, let me check this out. So I'm using the DJI mic. But what they're saying with this um, update is that they have fixed that issue with the crackling and the performance of the transmitter during a live stream. So if it worked, well, regardless, if it worked or if it didn't work, I'm going to post something now and it'll either be that it didn't work, there's still issues, or I'll post the video clip showing how it was successful and I will be happy about that. Anybody's viewing, I just really needed to test this um, frame here and let me come back. And then the last thing that's listed on this firmware update is fixed minor bugs. So you know how that is. They just list fixed minor bugs, performance issues, and things like that. And that is what we have for this most recent firmware update for the Osmo Pocket 3 and DJI Mic 2. I'd love to hear from you in the comments, which was the feature that was driving you crazy that they fixed, if any, or which is the feature that you absolutely loved. And if you found this video helpful, if you enjoy my content, 
please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you can see and be notified when you guys know the drill, you know the drill, but do help us sister out and hit that like and subscribe button so that it helps grow the community. Share the video for someone else that you may know um, that can take advantage of these features if they're using the Osmo Pocket 3. And if you want to uh, stay to watch my bloopers of when I messed up, if there's enough of them to put in here. All right, you guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, y'all. Yeah.